Wendell's work is always thoughtful. I think that's the first thing that comes across in all of his work. Although he hates me to say this, he's a cultural historian. Um, he really hates that phrase because he says he's not trained as a historian. But the stories he's telling are talking about the African American landscape. And he's doing it in small ways, specific communities, specific objects. I don't think of myself as a historian. Um, what has happened to me over the years is that I've really become interested in the idea of using history, historical context, historical objects as an element in the production of the artwork that I'm that I'm involved in or that I'm engaged in. And it has transformed itself over the years. It started with photographing communities and uh, something that was a little bit more narrative to photographing architecture and the landscape of the African-American experience in the segregated schools and then, you know, gradually going to deep into the archive, in a sense, by pulling out these objects and photographing the objects. In his current series, photographer Wendell White is documenting African American history through objects that are sometimes curious or strange, and that are sometimes chilling. Each photograph compels a closer examination because of what it is, and because of how it's photographed. I'm trying to photographically have a very sort of narrow slice of focus that kind of cuts through the object in a sense and just has one point of focus. But then, as I almost always do, I try to also photograph an object with a somewhat more unexpected part of the, the object in focus. And so in this case, I focus just on the bottom hem of the hood. The hood is a Ku Klux Klan hood. In addition to African-American items from the collection of the Cape May County Museum, Wendell White was able to photograph an item on loan from an unidentified cultural organization in South Jersey, a woman's Klan robe. And I think people are sometimes taken aback by the power of an object. They forget that objects are imbued with the power of memory. Looking at these objects, they're obviously out of scale. You know, a ring is very small, but in the photograph it's blown up. So they get to think about these objects and the history that comes with them. And I think that's been really evocative and provocative for our visitors. And everyone seems to be commenting that they hadn't thought about the small parts of history and how these small objects tell bigger stories.